Hi guys, Justin here. Welcome to Farm 26. And this is the wife's tractor. Um, I like to know what I've got in there. For So the story behind it goes is this is the last remaining from her grandpa's farm and uh, yeah it's it's seen its better days it's got uh, bolster needs to be fixed uh, blocks cracked um, yeah let's just let's just put it that way it, it needs a lot of work from here forward the engine's gonna have to be redone um, I don't know if a guy could uh, get some oil down it and get it loosened up or not. Uh, it's stuck how hard, I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is one that we're gonna get going for her Grandpa Bob. Um, well, I shouldn't say for her Grandpa Bob, but it, it was hers, or it was his. And we're gonna start it with a good pressure wash and I'm gonna just put you in a time lapse and I'm gonna just get to work. Well, now that it's somewhat uh, power washed off, it's still got a ways to go. We can, uh, so I know it, it's it's got a crack in there, so I know I'm getting water down in the oil pan. So what we're gonna do is get this oil plug out. If I can get a bite onto it. And, Someone's rounded at some point in its life. Let's try five eighths. Not good either. There we go, there's our movement. Now it should come out. Well, that's gonna be one that we're gonna need. Pipe plug after we get the pan straightened out. And there is nothing in it. Okay, well, that's all right too. So I guess what we'll do, since we're going to have to take the hydraulics out as well, let's drain the hydraulics down too. Um, there just isn't any getting around that. That's a little more how it should be. And we'll let him drain. The reason why we got to drain him is we there's a pump there that if he's not drained. Man, that almost smells like gone off diesel fuel. Okay, so to what we were gonna do, um, need my half inch wrench. What do I do with the half? It's not in my pocket neither. 
right there. So I'm pretty sure these are halves. They might be 9 sixteenths. But we're going to start uh, stripping everything off the side. And when I mean everything, we're going to strip it down to there's just going to be a block, a head, a valve cover. You know, anything that's on the outside, we're going to take off and we're going to box for, uh, for storage. Not long time storage, but storage until I've got uh, the problems sorted out. And uh, once I'm there, I'll show you the problems a little more in depth. Okay, so he's loose. But anyways, I think I'm going to throw you guys in time lapse and you're going to see this side all disappear. All right. So that little chunk of metal there, I don't know how well it's focusing or not, but uh, that's half the reason why we're going through what we're going through. Uh, I don't know if you can see the block here, it's split too. But uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's what killed this one. So, well, I guess back to stripping it apart. Okay, and last but not least, we're going to pull the fuel tank. Uh, not necessary at this point, but uh, just lends us for, for a little bit easier cleaning. Um, and besides that, if you smelt the fuel that's in there, it's been a while. Uh, she ain't new. And I got company. Okay, so back to it. Got just these couple. And they're being a little bit stubborn. Well, the one's all right, but the other one's being a little stubborn. It is just the four bolts that kind of hold it on. I mean, She's loose. But yeah, that one's stubborn. Let's see. Well, the biggest thing on these older ones, when you're taking that tank off, as soon as that last bolt comes out, that sediment bowl, you got to be dang careful. And there we go. There we go. We'll throw our bolts in, or back in. And I think we're to that point again where uh, time to tell you thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, this one here is definitely going to be a multi-part deal. This isn't all going to be done. And uh, to be honest with you, next video will be taking that block apart and we're going to see how bad we are. And from there it's going to really slow down because uh, 
this just isn't a high priority. This is, uh, I'd kind of like to get it going over winter, but if it doesn't, no one's feelings are going to get hurt kind of things. So, well, I think that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.